I checked out a new comedy series on Peacock called Based on a True Story. It's got some great leads and a dark premise, but can it deliver the laughs? A realtor, a former tennis star, and a plumber sees a unique opportunity to capitalize on America's obsession with true crime. This stars Kaylee Cuoco, Chris Messina, and Tom Bateman, and it's spread across eight 30-minute episodes. Now, luckily, they've all dropped at once, so you can get an excellent quick binge going. The premise is that there is a serial killer terrorizing Southern California, and looking to capitalize on the true crime obsession of the country, the three leads decide to make a podcast about the killer. Now, as I said, this is a dark premise, mainly because the content centers around murder, but the presentation balances the foreboding tone with sarcastic wit, societally aware snark, and then some fantastic comedic timing. The jokes, they're not going to always make you laugh out loud, but I was amused through so much of this. And then there's a slight mystery to the story, which I won't get into because it is a spoiler, but that intrigue is managed to stretch through several of the episodes thanks to imagery and scenes that make us kind of question what's true. I was almost immediately hooked on this show and the time flew by. And really, I was bummed when the show ended because I have become so invested in what was taking place and in the characters that I just need more. Now, Kaylee Cuoco and Chris Messina, they play a married couple and their highs and lows are defined pretty well. And then they're also established so that they can be relatable in certain aspects. Now, I really enjoyed how they're kind of out of place for their friend group. So many of their friends enjoy extremely wealthy lifestyles, while Cuoco and Messina, they're barely scraping by. So there is a bit of a jealousy thing and even a keeping up with the Joneses mentality. I mean, some of the content certainly speaks to contentedness. Now, Tom Bateman plays a plumber who enters into the couple's life and they establish a quick friendship. I like the dynamic between all three, even when it was the dynamic of just two of the players. I mean, there's strain and tension, but also some camaraderie, which I think in itself can be dysfunctional at times. But the chemistry that's shared, it's exciting to watch, especially when the story begins to take on the if you give a mouse a cookie type of feeling, where one decision leads to another, and before the characters know it, they're over their heads in their actions and are scrambling to figure out how to stay afloat. The pacing of this show is incredibly quick. I mean, not that it's missing information or that it feels like the story is rushed, but there's urgency and suspense that's inherent in the storytelling. Each episode adds at least one new complication to the story, and because those typically compound the issues, the story is able to remain captivating and it doesn't get stale. Now, for those that are huge into realism, there are conveniences in this series that they might bug you. Characters are able to navigate through areas undetected, even though they really should have been seen. And there always seems to be just a lack of people around when the story needs a character to perform a large action unhindered. I mean, really, though, these weren't bothersome to me because they didn't break me out of the mystique of the show or become so outlandish that they couldn't be seen as coincidences. Now, going back to what I'd mentioned about the story and the theme of contentedness, there's an odd focus on adultery that the show maintains. I mean, so many of the characters are intrigued or obsessed with the idea of affairs, and there's a lot of story time that's devoted to pursuing their desires. Now, I like how it develops a commentary on people's ideals and how it affects relationships. And really, I mean, it becomes a driving force for Cuoco and Messina's motivations. And with those two, I'm talking about contentedness, not adultery. Now, sometimes the story focus is more prominent than it needs to be, and it doesn't really work to support the story. But there are times when the adultery, the affairs, it's integral to some of the plot, even as setups for humor. So even though the show revolves around the idea of a serial killer, I was a bit shocked at the level of violence it's shown. I mean, I wouldn't say it's gratuitous, but it can be quite graphic at points. And the violence, it does have a point within the story. I mean, it's reinforcing some of the assumptions and the doubts that are introduced, drawing out that intrigue until some reveals are ready to be told. I think maybe the biggest shortcoming this series may have is its reliance on the current zeitgeist regarding true crime and podcasts. Now, I'd mentioned that there are references that address current pop culture, and those can become dated over time. I mean, while they're timely and funny right now, if I were watching this in a few years and pop culture sentiments have shifted, the jokes, they might feel lame and then even ill-placed. I mean, only time is going to tell on this, but just be aware if you happen to be viewing this show for the first time years from when it's been recorded. But overall, Based on a True Story is an addicting crime comedy that takes its genre and simultaneously embraces it while making fun as well. Cuoco, Messina, and Bateman kill with their passion and comedic timing, crafting charismatic and flawed characters. And while some of the snark may become outdated, theirs is definitely a podcast that I would subscribe to. The season is quick and it ends with a cliffhanger, making me just salivate for more. 
There's a lot of sex, a little bit of nudity, a ton of profanity, and a lot of violence. I give, based on a true story, four out of five couches. So if you've seen this show yet, I'd really love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.